Hey, yo, yo, yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. As you can see, today I got the gun on the shoulder, and that's what we're going to be talking about, is the shoddy gun. What is the best gun? What's the best duck hunting gun out there? Especially for you beginners uh, out there trying to save a buck. So in this video, I'm going to have non-biased comments about brands. I am not brand specific. Now, there are some brands I do like better than others, but we're going to go over the good, bad, the ugly, and what I think uh, you guys just need to hear. I've had a ton of you ask me lately, if the season's getting here, a lot of people have their summer money built up, and y'all are looking to get a new shotgun. Well, I'm here to help you. Three inch, three and a half inch chambered guns are expensive. But like I said, there's been a ton of you asking Bobby, what gun should I buy? And I just can't tell you, hey, go buy this gun or go buy that gun because the prices are all so different. So in this video, what I'm going to do is just cover the main points to try to give you guys guidance and so a little bit of help so you guys can figure out what gun first you can afford and what gun you really want to buy. Believe me, guys, when it comes to the high, high end guns, I know the price and I can tell you one thing, it took a lot of years for me to spend over $700 on a shotgun. So basically guys, we're just going to run through some of my experience. What I did over the last handfuls of years of my duck and goose hunting experience and what troubles I ran into with certain guns. But before we get into this video, one thing I stress to you guys, stress, if you guys want me to do a gun cleaning video, I can do a semi-auto gun cleaning video if you guys have never cleaned one. So if you want to see that, drop a big old thumbs up and let me know down below. But the biggest thing is clean your gun. Before we get into this video, I want to stress to you guys, clean that gun. Keep it clean. I know a lot of you are out there, if I keep it dirty, it shoots better. The minute I clean it, it messes up. Well, you may not be cleaning it right because when I keep mine spotless, it works perfect. But it's extremely hot out here. We're going to go inside. I have something juicy to show you all, something I'm excited about. Oh, don't mind the don't mind the toy room. It's currently a disaster, but check it out. So downstairs, oh yeah, oh yeah, check it out. I got Bobby's own little duck room finally, gosh darn it. Oh, so as you guys know, a lot of you guys have been uh, subscribed for a long time, and you always see me go from the shop. Either It used to be the back room. That used to be my kind of room, my editing room, where I hung out, where I filmed and did stuff. But uh, now, oh, and then we, it was out at the shop. So during the winters, I like to do my how-to videos and my foul Fridays out in the shop because I fire up the old fireplace, and it's cozy. And I know y'all like the fireplace. I do too, and I'm ready for that cold weather. But it's hot. I'm sweating outside. It's gonna be cold in the winter for how-to videos, so we got our own little duck hunting Bobby Guy Films room finally. I got my little safe over here. I, I'm not gonna bring my big safe from upstairs because just too much work. Heck no. We have the big couch. Flair, Austin, and the boys are coming down uh, this week and they're gonna be here, a little heads up. So we'll be able to edit down here and chill and talk. We have to have some, we have to have daddy's room, hello. Well, let's get into this video. And let's talk about shotguns, why you all are here. Now, a lot of you know I run a Franke Affinity. It's just, the, the Affinity is just a three inch chambers gun. It is not a three and a half inch chambered gun. So I cannot shoot three and a halves. For all my Minnesota people, for all my up north people who's gonna be shooting tons of honkers, big, big birds, I would say go ahead and get you a three and a half inch gun if you can afford it. Now, like the Mossbergs, the 935s, the 835s, uh, a lot of those, can hold up for a lot of years. I had two different 835s that I absolutely loved, and those guns run, you know, 500, five and a half, somewhere around there. You can even pick those guns up used like I did for around 350, 400 bucks. So that's what I always had. I went from Mossberg to Mossberg, and then I went to a Remington Nitro Mag that I absolutely did not like, and that's just the truth. Nothing bad about Remington, I just didn't like the Nitro Mags. We, I had a barrel bending issue because of it getting hot, and uh, so did my buddy. Nothing against Remington, they make some great, great ammunition, some great guns, nothing against them. And then I got a TriStar. So I'm just gonna run, run through the guns and just kind of give you the lowdown and, and reason why I have a Franke. I had a TriStar, extremely cheap guns, but I loved it. Extremely light and it held up for about three to four years. Again, people, if you keep your guns clean constantly like I do now, not like I used to. I used to not be as good as I am now about it. 
But keep your guns clean, people. The more you clean them, the longer they're going to last. So I used up the TriStar. It just ended up eventually eating poop on me, and the internals are just worn out because of all the 3-inch steel shot I've ran through it, and the mud, and the grime, and the rain, and the grit. All that stuff just wore it out. So when that gun wore out, I was like, you know what? I'm doing YouTube now. I need a gun that's going to be reliable. Now, I have never owned a Benelli. I've never had a Supernova, I've never had a Super Black Eagle, never have. Never had the money for one. Have I wanted one? Of course. But I could never afford it. So my upgrade when I got my YouTube channel, I was like, I need a good gun. What's a good gun? I started asking around and some of my buddies that had the Franke, they're like, man, for 700 bucks or a hair over, you can't go wrong with a Franke. So that is the last gun I bought and I've had this gun going on three seasons. This will be the third season on it and believe me the last two seasons have been the hardest on guns that I have ever had and ever put a weapon through and this bad boy has stood up. Now comparable price point and guns to this affinity is the Stoger like the M3500. It is a very close comparison in price and in functionality. So those are two guns. If you're looking around the seven to eight hundred dollar range, I would say look at a Franke Affinity or a Stoger. Now Franke does have a step up from the Affinity and I forget the name of that but it does shoot three and a half. Mine like I said it's just a three inch chambered gun. Here in Kansas we don't get big honkers. It's going to be lessers, cacklers, ducks, and snow geese and the common spec but it just doesn't take a three and a half inch down here to get the job done. I wanted to give you my two cents on shotguns. Uh, anything from saving money to the, from the beginner aspect all the way up to the novice. And if you have the money, I can tell you, if you have the money to spend on a seven, eight hundred dollar gun or even a super black eagle, do it. Just buy it because you're going to have it and you're not going to have any issues with it. From my experience, the cheaper guns, yes, they get you by but they only got me by so long, probably due to the fact that I hunt a lot more and always have more than a lot of other people out there. Even before the YouTube channel, I hunted a ton. That's why I went through so many guns. I'm probably on, realistically, my ninth gun, 10th gun, and every one of them except this one was a cheap one, and I only got, honestly, three and four years out of it because, I, again, I hunted a ton and I was uh, lazy and didn't want to clean it as much as I do now but ooh we look at all these ducks hat holy smokes if you guys are looking for a new hat you know what to do go down in the description below go click the link for ducks hats and go pick you up a new hat but I like closing the video outside I just like it I like closing the video outside being in the backyard being on the beautiful sunshine. So one huge thing I want to tell you guys before we end this is if you're a beginner duck hunter, do not think you have to break the bank to have a decent shotgun. You don't have to contend with your buddies that went out and literally spent their entire bank account or savings account just for a gun. You don't have to do that. It's Especially if you know you're only going to be hunting a handful of times a season, maybe even 10 times a season. Believe me, you can get away with a cheaper gun. I did for a long time. I still haven't upgraded to the gun that I really want. So, it really doesn't take a million bucks. We think that we all have to buy the expensive brands out there. And we really don't. Everything brands from guns to uh, warm gear, just like Sitka compared to other things. We always don't need the most expensive stuff out there. So, be smart, be wise with your money. Don't get hoaxed into just go blowing a bunch of money if you don't have it. But if you like these how-to videos, these tips, my two cent videos, drop me a big ol' thumbs up for your boy right now. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching always. You guys being here, you guys giving me your tips. You're like, hey man, I need to see a video on this. There's been a ton of you guys ask me what kind of gun I use and what gun I recommend you guys get. That's why I did this video. So thank you for always dropping your comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't all my duck hunting mofos out there. Thank you for watching. Glad you're here. Glad you're part of the community. If you have subscribed, click that notification bell down there. All my subs. Do it. Do it. You'll be notified when I upload. Follow me on Instagram right here. Thank you for watching, y'all. Peace. Oh, boy. Come back. Oh, they like that spread over there, boys. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go right there, boy. Hello. Yeah. That was fun just racking them off for a minute. Hello. <laughs>